Chaos Cultists. You know them, you love them, but they're monopose, and if you want to have more than just five of them, you're probably going to want to convert them so you don't have multiples of the same model. I started off by making a list of conversion ideas for each one of them, and I gave them really descriptive, unique names, if you see that. Then I went through the tedious process of cutting the models off the sprues and cleaning up mold lines, which I'll probably have to do again once I paint them and realize I missed some spots. The first model I start off with is Hosehead, who is promptly beheaded, and I drill out very carefully a hole in the neck to fit this Adeptus Mechanicus tank gunner head. I think that's what it is. I got it from a bits reseller, so I'm not entirely sure on that. The head fits on pretty snug. I'm just gonna glue the gun arm right onto it and call this one done. Then I move on to Beak Guy. I don't know if the mask is supposed to look like a Plague Doctor mask or not, but I'm going to cut off the bottom triangle of the mask, which you could just leave like that and maybe sculpt a more rounded jaw. But I'm gonna go a step further and then glue on a proper beak, which I'm going to be making out of a cultist head from the Frostgrave cultist box, shown here. I basically just leave the top part of the Frostgrave cultist mask, you know, the pointy part, and cut out a little divot so it'll fit onto the original cultist mask. Then I set it aside to be touched up with some green modeling putty later. Next up is the Hooded Hurrier, who I'm going to slow down a bit and swap out his legs for a Katachan Jungle Fighter's legs. I make sure the point of separation on the Cultus is above the belt because the Jungle Fighter's legs include the belt, so it'll just it'll match up better that way. And I pin those two parts together with just a little bit of paper clip and super glue. I trim down the push fit peg for the gun arm and then just glue that on and call this model done as well. Goatee is also going to be losing his head, but in a much less grisly fashion, and just cut the arm away from the head, hood, shoulder cover thing, whatever you want to call it. And I can use that head later in another cultist conversion. And instead of having his gun arm pointed down like it originally was, I'm going to have it pointed out, and I'm just going to trim down the shoulder so that it actually fits and then I'll be able to cover up the missing parts of the arm or the shoulder with green putty later. For gas mask, I try to drill out the bottom of his mask like the respirator part, but the drill bit was super dull, so um, that didn't work out and I ended up kind of destroying part of the mask. So I heated up this needle sculpting tool with a lighter and just kind of melted a hole through the plastic and I also cut down the hose on this back little tank here so that it's flush with his uniform and then I melt slash drill a hole in the side of that tank so that I can run a guitar string from the mask to the tank which bending that guitar string to actually run along the body and line up with both the mask and the tank was a huge pain and in the process of doing that, I ended up snapping off the blade of the knife on his belt loop and the spiky bat thing on his other hand. I already planned on switching the auto pistol to his right hand, but instead of taking it from my Blackstone Fortress cultists, I just made a copy of the auto pistol from this model. Uh, just using Oyumaru and green stuff, and you can see me using that Oyumaru here, making a copy of his shoulder pads so that he'll have one on the other shoulder as well. I explain Oyumaru a bit better in my Chaos Dreadnought conversion video, which I'll have linked below if you want to check that out. And now I can finally start sculpting on these with some green modeling putty. Back to goatee, I start by rolling out some kind of snakes of putty and filling out the front of his shoulder scarf and just follow along the lines that are already kind of in place on the back of the model, just overlapping them and carving them out with this needle tool and a silicone color shaper. And for the head, I'm using another bit from the Frostgrave cultist box. And for beak guy, I'm just filling the gap between the beak and the original mask and blending that in. You can see I added a guitar string coming out of the mask off camera. 
That was probably after I fought with the guitar string on the gas mask model and just thought I'd punish myself a bit more. The head ends up being asymmetrical, but it's chaos, so it's okay. He could be a crazy mangled looking guy under that mask for all we know. And on gas mask, I rebuild the respirator part of the mask and the part where I drilled out on the tank. After the putty is cured, I go back to goatee and drill out uh, his right eye. And then I widen it a bit more by heating up a metal ball stylus and then just pushing it into the eye socket. I did all that to make room for a bionic eye that is going to be made out of this little tiny piece of plastic rod, which I actually have to cut down even smaller to fit. Once I get that glued on, I decide I need to mess with some more guitar string and add some more coming out of that bionic eye. I mix up some more green stuff and add on to the shoulder scarf so it looks like the wires are going under the scarf instead of just floating and then also blend the other side of those wires into the bionic eye. And to complete gas mask I cut off the knife from his waist and just make that all flush to the uniform and I take from the Frostgrave cultist box again and just glue on this extra pouch with a knife. After doing my best to clean up the green stuff copy of the auto pistol I made, I glue that onto the right hand. And on the left arm, I trim off the chaos icon on the shoulder to make room for the green stuff copy of the shoulder pad. And I glue the arm and the shoulder pad to the model. A brave Katachan jungle fighter decided he was going to donate his left hand and I just pinned that on there with a bit of paper clip. With the tiniest bit of green stuff I add to the sleeve just so that the hand looks like it's meant to be there. And I just add some folds onto that so it all blends in. And I can finally call these cultists done, at least converted. I plan on making a second video just dedicated to painting these so that this video doesn't run on any longer than it already has. I used a couple bits from Katachan Jungle Fighters in this video and I have probably about a dozen of those that I plan on converting into cultist. I'm just waiting for some third party bits to ship here. Um, so subscribe if you want to see that video in the future. And I also want to buy another box of these cultists to convert again, just because working on this gave me a ton more ideas. And if you have any conversion ideas, throw those in the comments below if you want. And if you liked this video or found any part of it helpful, hit that like button with a gotch style pile driver. This bit is never going to get over. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.